Skies, let the just one come forth like the dew. Good morning, dear friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, Rochester, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. And give birth to our Savior. Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Bill Coolis. I'm a retired priest in the Diocese of Winona, Rochester. And I welcome all of you here, and especially those who are watching us on TV and on the internet. A special welcome for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for this celebration by calling to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passionate cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when you set and when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to all who call on him, who call on him in the sincerity of their hearts. My mouth shall speak the praises of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings and 
according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith, to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled by what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How could this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren for nothing will be impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've often wondered whether Mary had considered the consequences of what her great amen would mean. She would face some very difficult times. She would be a woman pregnant out of wedlock, which at the time of Christ would meant disgrace and put downs, but it also could have meant being stoned to death for she would have been considered an adulterer. But yet Mary still had that faith. And even after it became apparent that she was, Joseph was going to quietly divorce her and leave her on her own, which really wasn't much of a favor because a woman with a little child without a husband was pretty much doomed to a life of misery and possibly even death but she stayed with it. And then she went to visit Elizabeth, possibly because of the harassment she was getting in her own community. And then she went back and was getting ready for her delivery of her child. And she was ordered along with Joseph to go to the town of Bethlehem, a very dangerous journey not just because of the robbers and criminals and wild animals along the way, but also because she would be so pregnant. And pregnancy in those days was very dangerous. But yet she had the faith to stay with it. And even when she was preparing to go back, she was came into the king, King Herod, who wanted to kill her child. 
She, she lived in very troubled times, difficult things, but yet she remained faithful. We live in troubled times now. We hear so much of violence in, in the streets, the disease, the pandemic, and we hear about the turbulence time and again, and it may bother us. But Mary is that example that we can look to and keep faith even in the midst of all of these struggles. She is the one that can help us through, for she placed her trust in God. She knew who she was by saying she was a handmaid of the Lord. And because of that, she was able to bring many people to good faith and good hope and good charity. That is why for us today, we must draw ever closer to Mary, to remain faithful to her, and ask her to intercede to the Lord for us, because she is a true model of what life is to be. May we, in the same way as her, place our trust in God and say, I am the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me as you say. For that is what she has done. She has given us new life, new hope, and new joy. May we always be mindful that God is with us, even if we think he is not, or we beg and nothing seems to happen. God has a plan for us, and in the end, just like he did for Mary, he would have accomplished many wonderful things, and he will do the same for us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, earth, of all, all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, God, from God light from light, true God from true God, from true God, God begotten God not made, made consubstantial with the Father, Father through him all things were made. made. For us men and for our salvation, he came, he came down, down from, from heaven, heaven, and by the and Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate was of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. man. For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius, Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and was buried, and rose, rose again, again on the third day, day in accordance with the scriptures. the scriptures. He ascended, ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and of his kingdom there will be no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Reminding ourselves of the great and awesome power of God, we ask him to hear these petitions. that we would honor the Lord every day in our lives and be mindful of our commitment to the Lord with our great amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all women, that they might consider their role in the world, especially of being servants of God in a special way and giving a special example, and they might be able to function well in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all peoples gather together in a loving prayer during these final days before Christmas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and justice of the world, for all peoples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have departed from this earth, that they might be able to enjoy the fullness of the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, grant us your prayers, grant us our prayers in your loving way. For you who bestow all gifts upon us are great. Help us to fulfill your commands as we pray these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the <clears throat> Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by this gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that we may find watch, be found watchful in prayer and exalted in praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of glory. Without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that for the rising of a sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered in your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which would be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, <clears throat> we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for your unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, and John our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you with their passing for this life, give kind admits to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercies we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On your day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your day, Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my, my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and, my, and soul my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and his name shall be called Emmanuel. The heavens declare the glory of God, 
and the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. Day unto day conveys the message, and night unto night imparts the knowledge. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded, their sound goes forth through all the earth their message to the utmost bounds of the world. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for joining with us today. I certainly appreciate your opportunity to come together with you and celebrate in a special way, especially those that are in nursing homes or not being able to get out as shut-ins. You are a special welcome and you are part of the parish community. As this Christmas season begins, may we have a special time of celebration and celebrate in the joy of the Lord, even if it seems to be so distant from us because of the pandemic. May we always be reminded of how much you do love us, Lord, and that we might ourselves always be faithful to that living gospel. May we always keep in touch with those, even though we may not be able to visit them personally, through phone calls, letters, messages, so that they might be able to feel part of the community that we are all part of. That is our goal and our faith. May we live in the fullness of your love. To each of you, an early Merry Christmas. May you celebrate with joy and love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. If this Mass has helped you or someone you know, please consider sending a donation to the address on the screen or by visiting our website at dowr.org and clicking the weekly mass icon. Thank you and God bless. Rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.